here I'm going to try to show you how to find a uh, principal coterminal angle for some enormous degrees and radians. Um, so the first one is 3, 5, 2, 4, 6, 3. Um, so that's what I have. That's in degrees. And what I want to do is um, first I'm going to figure out how many complete revolutions that is. So I'm dividing that by 360. And I get 979. And what I want to do here is, so I know it's 979 complete revolutions. And there's that little 0.064 bit there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want the uh, greatest integer less than that. So I'm going to have 3, 5, 2, 4, 6, 3. And then I'm going to subtract off all of the complete revolutions. So 360 times, I know there's 979 complete revolutions like that. I get 23. So 23 is coterminal to um, 3, uh, 352,463. Not a big deal. Um, what if it's a negative, though? So now I have, um, I'm going to use the fraction template, negative 2, 6, um, 4, 6, 3. And I'm still just going to divide that by 360. And uh, I actually want decimal here. So I get negative 73.5083. And here's the idea where I'm going to use the greatest integer because I want the uh, principal coterminal. So that's between 0 and 360. So what I'll do is take negative, um, and I, I want to negate. So negative 2, 6, 4, 6, 3. I'm going to subtract, and then uh, I do negative 74, because 74 is the greatest integer less than or equal to um, negative 73.5083 times 360. And I get 177. So 177 should be, if I do 177 and then I subtract um, 74 times 360, so subtract, like, um, turn clockwise 74 times, um, I get to negative 26, 463. Um, so that's how you do that for degrees. And, it, it, you know, it's really not that bad. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm actually going to insert, so I press doc for a uh, new calculator. And I'm going to do this with some radians. So say I have, um, so I'm going to stack my fractions here because the first radian is 463 uh, pi over 21. Remember, there's a pi key on your keyboard, which is faster for me to type it. Divide that by 2 pi. I'm going to find out how many times uh, 2 pi goes into it. So it's 11. And then uh, do the same thing. So 463 pi over 21. And I'm going to subtract 11. Whoops. Subtract um, 11 times 2 pi, and I get pi over 21, um, which means if I take pi over 21 and add um, 11 times 2 pi, so just you know circle around 11 times, I get to uh, 463 pi over 21. And uh, the same principle holds true, again, for a, a negative. So negative 375 pi over 16, tab, tab again. Divide by 2 pi, and remember you have a pi key, pi, um, and get a decimal, so that's control enter, and greatest integer less than or equal to that, so now I have uh, negative 375 pi over 16 minus uh, negative 12, which is the greatest integer less than or equal to, times 2 pi, gets me 9 pi over 16. And again, you can check 9 pi over 16, and then I'm going to uh, subtract 12 times 2 pi, and it takes me to negative 375 pi over 16. So they are coterminal. And uh, that's how I would do these problems at this point. There's actually a different way to do it that uh, we will talk about in a little bit, but uh, good luck with that.